First up, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little succulent planter out of something that you might have and be getting rid of. For this project you'll need an old glass candle and you'll have to go ahead and get rid of any stickers and the wax that's inside. To do this I just poured some boiling hot water and let it sit for a couple of minutes but be careful of the hot water because obviously you don't want to burn yourself. Once it had sat for about 30 seconds, I started using a wooden dowel to move the wax around and it came off pretty easily. When you get rid of the wax, just remember not to pour it down the drain or the toilet because it will clog up the pipes. But go ahead and clear out your glass and then you're going to want to use some wooden beads on the bottom to make some mini legs. To do this, I just used some hot glue and stuck them on the bottom in a three point triangle shape. It should look a little something like this when you're finished and it should balance by itself. Fill your glass with some rocks or sand, whatever you want to use, and then go ahead and stick some fake succulents in there. I got these from the Dollar Tree. If you want to plant real succulents in here, just add a few rocks to the bottom of the glass before adding the soil. That way the roots won't get moldy. And there you have it, a very modern and minimal looking planter. And here's a quick and simple DIY if you want to try printing on some cushion covers or pillowcases or even on a piece of paper to make into a piece of art. You'll need an old cosmetic bottle, this is one of those mini travel bottles and it's got a nice circular lid. And you'll also need a cushion cover or whatever you're going to print on. Make sure if this is a cushion, put some paper or cardboard in between so it doesn't get stuck together. And like I said, this is so simple. All you're going to want to do is take the lid of your container or your bottle and dab it into your fabric paint. Make sure to get rid of the excess so that it doesn't go everywhere and then start printing on your fabric. You might need to go over it a few times, but remember that less is more. You'd rather spend a little bit longer making sure that it looks better rather than using way too much paint in the first place. Go ahead and use whatever colours of paint that you would like. I'm using blue and green as well as this pink. And also maybe try using different shapes of bottles with different tops and different sizes. I'll admit, I kind of went a bit overboard with the colours. I think this would look better in just black and white, but I do like how it turned out and I think the method of printing was very fun. If, like me, you love abstract art prints, then this project might be for you and once again, it's so easy to make. For this project, bubble wrap is the thing that I was going to recycle and you'll also need a piece of paper in whatever size you want, mine is 12 inches by 12 inches. Cut your bubble wrap to size, then use some craft or acrylic paint and dribble this on top of the bubble wrap and you can go in any kind of lines or squiggles that you want. Once you're done, use a somewhat wide paintbrush, mine's kind of small, and then go ahead and blend out all the colours. Try and make them blend into each other. You might need a couple of different paintbrushes for this so it doesn't get messy, but just keep going until you've done the whole piece of bubble wrap. Then working really quickly, go ahead and drape this onto your plain piece of paper. And you'll also want some newspaper underneath just to make sure that it's not gonna make a mess. Press really firmly onto the bubble wrap and peel it back and you should have something that looks a little bit like this. This definitely won't be to everybody's taste, but if you like abstract prints, you might like doing this and it is a fun craft to try.